In this tutorial from IG Apps, you learn about checkboxes in Android. So in this app, I have a basic checkbox over here, which when I click, it will say that the item is now selected. And when I unselect it, it will say not checked. We learn how to do this and more in this tutorial. So let's get started. Go over to activitymain.xml and over here, I'm going to create my checkbox element and I'm going to provide it with some basic attributes. Now that I've provided this, if you look at the design tab over here on the right, we can see the checkbox right now doesn't have any text. So to provide with some text, we can use the text attribute and then say check me inside of the string. And if you want to make the checkbox, the actual box a little larger, we can use the scale attributes so of scale x and make that 1.2. Copy that and do scale y as well. And you can see that the checkbox increased in size. So we can run our app and take a look at what it shows now. Now our app has a checkbox which you can select and unselect. By default, the checkbox will start off as unselected. If we want to change that, the checkbox has an attribute called checked, which we can then set to true. And you can see on the design tab that it's already checked. By default, it will be false. So if I delete that, it's gone. Now inside of our main activity is where we're going to create a variable for a checkbox and listen for changes in what's whether or not it's currently checked. So we'll have our checkbox variable, call it checkbox, and we will say find view by id r dot id dot checkbox, which is what we call it over here in our XML file. And now we're going to say checkbox dot set on check changed listener. This is what we're going to use to handle changes in the, so the whether or not the checkbox is checked. And when we override this method called on check change, you can see that one of the parameters or arguments we're provided with is a Boolean that denotes whether or not the checkbox is checked. So we can say if B, so basically this means the checkbox is checked. We'll just make a toast saying that the checkbox has currently been checked. And similarly, if the checkbox is not checked, so if B is false, we can copy this toast and then it, over here it'll make a message saying not checked. And we can go ahead and run this. Now in our app, when we select the checkbox, it makes a toast saying checked. And when we unselect it, it says not checked. That's because we have this unchecked listener that we have put onto our checkbox. There are some more useful functions that the checkbox variable has. So for example, we could say checkbox dot set enabled at to false. And I'll put this over here right under my if a B statement and comment out the rest and run the app now. What this will do is once the user selects a checkbox, it will be disabled. And now you can see the checkbox is grayed out and I cannot unselect. Another useful function is the set checked function. So I'll undo these changes and then over here, underneath where I created my checkbox variable, I can say checkbox that set checked and then set that to true. So this allows us to programmatically ch change the state of the checkbox. Now when the app is launched, by default, the checkbox will start off as checked. So in this tutorial, you learned how to create a checkbox in Android and some of the useful attributes as well as functions that you can use on a checkbox. If you found this tutorial useful, please make sure to subscribe and share the channel with friends. Until the next tutorial, happy developing from IJ Apps.